Hey guys, it's March 11th, 2015, and I'm Mike Sorg here for the Mayhem Minute, WrestlingMayhemShow.com, at Sorgatron, at Mayhem Show on the Twitters. Please uh, correspond with us. Let us know what you think about our thoughts over all over the Wrestling Mayhem Show. We had a great one last night, a Wrestling Mayhem Show 460. Uh, great discussions about the training practices of Bill DeMott, uh, John Cena, Rob Pittsburgh in general. A lot of good discussion there. One thing we did not get to, The Undertaker. And let's talk about the scarcity of The Undertaker. Of course, I got the witness in person. Uh, what I thought was some great theatrics uh, with Bray Wyatt in the urn and discussing, you know, uh, the match and trying to raise the dead. I'm really glad to see that uh, light up uh, tombstone made it on TV, by the way. Um, and, and, and I think it's pretty tremendous what they're doing here. And, but we, you know, for one, there was chance, there was everything. We really wanted undertaker to show up, especially us being there in the seats in Pittsburgh, uh, really wanted to see undertaker, you know, you never know if it's going to be the last time, you know, and I know he's, he's come up uh, a few times leading into WrestleMania here, uh, at the Pittsburgh events, but, uh, uh, but we did get some very undertaker style theatrics. And honestly, I think that's just as good to a certain degree. And of course we are going to get him here upcoming at WrestleMania against Bray Wyatt, who I think is definitely a new character that, that rivals, uh, undertaker in theatrics. And I'm glad that we're getting to a point where we can get to that again. You know, um, I, I still have to look back to the video and see how bad the CG lightning I hear about was when they, they caught the, uh, chair on fire. Um, but you know, it, it, you know, is the scarcity of the undertaker the best thing? Um, there's articles of course, over on, um, um, uh, WrestleZone.com uh, by uh, the guy I've worked for, with before, uh, Josh Eisenberg, uh, with Chairshot Reality, uh, you know, asking will Undertaker appear before WrestleMania? Is a you know, does he need to for one one thing? And I think you know, again, keeping him off TV makes it special too. Makes it special to the point where. You know, hey, if you want to see him, if you want to see him in person, if you want to see him on your TV, you have to pay for WrestleMania. You have to pay for the network. You will not buy a ticket to Raw Pittsburgh, you know, at Console Energy Center. You will buy the big ticket for WrestleMania in Silicon Valley. You know, it's it, it's another spectacle. And, and this is a guy that they've built a mystery and air around over the years and really kind of cashed in on it and good for him. He gets to do very little and make a lot of money because he is a feature match regardless of what's going on from year to year. Um, and in his age and, and whatever's going on with his body, maybe that's for the best, but he can still go. Um, I think proven last year to a point that he went mostly with a concussion during that match um, and over those last several years. You know, and there is the worry, as we see in the uh, documentary, uh, the, the WWE 24 about WrestleMania last year. You know, I, geez, can he go a year without no, going to the hospital afterwards, please? Um, but uh, but still, you know, in the meantime, you know, for best for his health and everything and best for theatrics. That's what we're missing. You know, we were given a lot over the years, especially Attitude Era stuff. And to, like, you know, have them kind of hold back on something like this. They, they could very easily just, you know, have them make two appearances, one appearance to accept the challenge. Um, and we did wonder this whole uh, uh, acceptance by screen that we've had with Sting as well. And if we do get Undertaker versus Sting, will the entire promos be done via Titan Tron um, leading up to... <laughs> to what's going on or will everybody just be played by Heath Slater in, in place um, until we get to the actual match it's a curiosity isn't it um, but uh, but no I think the scarce of the year I think it makes a special uh, as long as Undertaker still delivers with Bray Wyatt here at Wrestlemania um, and very much they can't Undertaker can't have a bad year very much so um, which he terribly you know I can't remember last time Undertaker had a bad match to be honest he's had so few in recent years, of course, but still, I, I think it's really nice to. Be, I think I think it's the right thing to do with him until he absolutely can't go anymore. Then what do you do? I'm curious. I mean, that's what they're holding on to. Um, but he is a money maker, and it's it's going to still be an interesting match. And I think uh, you know, hopefully Bray Wyatt shines. I think he has been leading up to this. It's been intriguing. I'm not I'm not tired of his diatribes, and and, and it's evolving. 
you know. Um, and it's a classic fight over the urn and this and the theatrics and the and the dark out and the lightning. Um, it, it's back to what I know I like about The Undertaker, and hopefully a lot of you guys do if you're Undertaker fans. So let me know what do you think about the scarcity of The Undertaker. You wish you would see him a couple of times. You think he should hang it up. Uh, are you looking forward to the match here coming up at WrestleMania, for instance? Um, I know I am. Uh, much of WrestleMania I'm looking forward to. So let me know at Mayhem Show on the Twitters. Comments to this video on YouTube or Facebook. Um, and anywhere else you may find us, you may have heard or listened to this as well. Links over at WrestlingMayhemShow.com under, under this post uh, for finding us on audio outlets as well, including iTunes um, and, and Spreaker. Um, Spreaker, Stitcher, Stitcher, one of those, Stitcher, I think. Uh, that's why you go to WrestlingMayhemShow.com with the links and you find out what the heck I'm talking about. We'll see you guys next time. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at SorgatronMedia.com.